I want to talk about editing. And I came up with a, uh, a list of hotkeys for Premiere back when I was doing previs in a, for a film in China. And I found that uh, I would spend a lot of time at night doing shot editing and shot organizing. And it took me so long because I spent so much time going back and forth from keyboard to mouse, keyboard to mouse. And so I developed a system of hotkeys essentially to remove this problem. And uh, one of the uh, one of the most important things I think when developing your hotkeys is find something that allows you to do as little movement of your hands as possible. Uh, my right hand is always on my mouse. We've got an ergo mouse, <clears throat> but it's off here to the side. You don't really need to see uh, what I'm doing with that. But I have a, uh, a camera here so you can see my hands. I also have keystrokes listed on the right side so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I highly recommend just learning. Uh, hotkeys in general. For example, switching between windows is Alt Tab. Uh, closing a window is Alt Space, and then you push C. Whatever the underlying character is in the uh, uh, in the window, you push that button. So Alt Space in and minimizes. Uh, Alt Space X maximizes. So being able to switch quickly between windows, being able to do various tasks just using the keyboard so that you don't have to rely on the mouse and point your cursor at something saves you a ton of time. So if you are short of time and you have to edit a lot of footage, you have to do previs or whatever it might be, uh, then uh, I highly recommend exploring keyboard shortcuts. And fortunately in Premiere, you can do that in edit keyboard shortcuts right here. Oh, unfortunately, it doesn't show uh, the actual keyboard shortcut, but I'm going to bring it over here so you can kind of get a glimpse. Of the uh, of the keyboard shortcuts that I have set up, uh, and this is just you know one of many ways that you can set it up. But I set it up so that I just don't really have to move my left hand off of this side of the keyboard. I really don't have to do that almost ever, and I can just keep my right hand on my mouse the whole time, and it just makes things way quicker. I found that I was able to edit maybe two or three times quicker as a result. So I'll give you an example, right? So I'm going to bring in a bunch of footage that we shot for uh, Cats and Jammer my feature film that I'm working on and, uh, and I'm just gonna drag I'm just gonna drag a few clips of this I'm gonna drag the first 11 clips onto the timeline here so right away I set up uh, zoom to be one and two one zooms out two zooms in uh, I can very quickly see all my clips this way I'll scrub and see what okay what is my and then I do control space uh, for for uh, to move back, shift space to move forward with clips. I also make sure I turn off selecting these so that I'm not just selecting that uh, that channel. So I go forward. Okay, this is my take two. Push D, Control D, deletes that one. Okay, then I go find my second take. That's my take two. I only did one take of that. Um, I know that we did a few takes of this one, so it looks like that's take three there. So I'm going to delete take one, take two, and take three is right there. Okay. Uh, then we've got this shot of me playing a store clerk. Uh, looks like this is a take two. So, yeah, so I'm just going to delete take one. And see, that looks like take three right there. I'm going to go ahead and delete take two. And what do we got here? And then we've got a pickup of the fall. All right. So already, uh, let's see, so that was take two right there, so I'm going to delete that one. So I've already got that pared down to just my five essential shots. So then I'm going to go through, and, and so I have shift X scans forward uh, five frames at a time, so I can scrub quickly. And then Z and X, and if I push Z, if I push Z, it goes back one frame at a time. X goes forward one frame at a time. So then I shoot forward to, let's see, it looks like, uh, looks like that's the end of my shot. So I'm going to push Control Shift C, that, that puts a cut. Uh, and then I, looks like, uh, looks like we framed out the cat there. That's all right. So I'm going to put a cut there. Go to the beginning, delete that. Go to the end, delete that. And I've trimmed out my segment already. So then I'm going to go to... And this is a, uh, it's just a profile shot. And action. Dennis walking down the aisle, delete that. Delete the beginning of that. It's me speaking Cantonese in the background. And I'll probably show, maybe I'll put this one later, but I'm just, I'm just trimming the in and outs of these clips. So maybe we have a shot where Lester's coming around the uh, aisle. 
and I'll just start it there as he's coming around the aisle. And then he comes in close, so I'll probably cut out right after that. Maybe I'll have an exit there. So I've got that divided up into two clips. He walks away. And then we cut there. And we've got a cutaway of, uh, I don't know why he showed pan down for that. Didn't need to do that. Alright, so. Well, whatever. So. Three, two, one, action. Okay, and I'm going to go back to here and find that spot where I, I hold control, drag, extend the clip like that. Okay, so I've, not, I've got my desired out point and uh, desired cut point there. So I'm going to go find that clip, push D, select which selects it, control X, cuts it, paste it, control shift V. Now it's just stuck right there in between. There's a little bit of a jump cut, but that's fine. And then he's walking away. So it just makes it really quick with uh, being able to cut together a scene. You can eliminate a ton of time um, by uh, by just assigning hotkeys. Uh, the ones I recommend using, you know, there, there's also, for example, let's say that uh, you've got a clip length. Let's see. Uh, let's say you've got this clip length that you that you like. Uh, you like the clip length, but you don't like where it starts. So I have a shuttle option, which I do Control Alt X, and that can shuttle the beginning of the clip back in time, or forward in time using Z. I can push Control Shift X to do it five frames at a time, and Z does the same thing in uh, forward in time. That makes it really quick, and. If I think, okay, I wanna, I wanna trim, trim the. Uh, so right now, if I look at the, if I look at the end of this clip, so I'm bending down, picking it up. Looks like there's a little bit of a jump cut there. So if I want to add a little bit of time there, um, just hold, control, drag it. That's standard. But if I wanted to eliminate some time, let's say I want that that cut to happen quicker, pause it, control shift C. D selects it, control D, it's gone. It's very quick. So anyway, I'm happy to um, uh, give you guys uh, an example of my keyboard shortcuts. I can uh, export just some images and I'll put that in the description. Um, but I uh, uh, encourage you to do keyboard hot uh, keyboard hotkeys using Premiere. Um, obviously, all of the Adobe software allows you to do this stuff. Um, I'm only really touching the surface. You know, there's also the organizi organizing uh, using labels. So I, you know, I, I assign a different label color to the different hotkey, uh, different numbers. So I do Shift Alt One, Two, Three, and that just changes the color. So then when I back out, I know that you know all my yellow shots are my action shots, for example, or all my yellow shots are this guy, and all of my green shots are, you know, which one's green? That one. <laughs> I never remember the colors, but. Uh, all my green colors are this guy, and so it's very easy then to back out and see. Oh, okay, you know, you can you can very easily organize your footage and see where you're at um, using uh, color labels. Control T's title, you get it. So that's all. Hope you enjoyed that.